Yo, what's up, Tring? How you doing? Are you able to let me know if my um my music is a little too loud by chance? I might, um... Oh, cool, cool. Good deal. This is my first time, uh... Streaming. On YouTube, anyway. I used to do it on Twitch, but not so much anymore. Did you build any good decks from Cosmic Eclipse? I have. Uh, Dialga and Palkia is really, really strong. Um... I need to get the cards on this account, and then once I do, if anybody's interested in that, I'll probably play with that. I might just straight up buy the cards or something for this account soon. But Cosmic Eclipse has a lot of A plus cards that are very, very interesting. Let's see. Uh, this is kind of a bad situation for me. We're gonna... We're gonna try and play through. Do you play in tournaments yourself, Trang? Or online? Oh yeah, Mewtwo, Mew and Mewtwo are... They are extremely powerful still. I don't... With the Keldeo GX out though, and, and some of these other cards... Um, it might be... A little rough. Let's see. Let's get a Mewtwo out. Yeah. I mean, th this game is really fun. Let's see. Mm hmm. I mean, with anything, it's practice, but, you know, I highly suggest playing to the limit where you have fun. Because I know a lot of people that play competitively, and they just exhaust themselves, and they no longer have fun, and it's not, you know? What's the point of playing a game if, if you're not having... Really? You, did you open up Cosmic Eclipse? I mean, if you could, I'd definitely make some some decks out of it. Just me, just send me my real cards. <laughs> you want to trade for the the digital ones? I could definitely trade you some uh some of the cards I do have if you're interested. I'm pretty down. Do you live in the the U.S.?
Okay, cool. Yeah, that totally works out then. Yeah, we can work something out, dude. Sweet. I got my play mat here real quick. I'm just gonna work on locking this guy up here. Thin my deck out a little bit more. Yeah, man. Oh, you live in Asia? Nah, it's no big deal. It's no big deal if you live in Asia. It's just a little bit extra for me to ship to you. Um, it'll obviously take a little longer to... Really? Yeah. So check it out. Like, Mewtwo, obviously you know how Mewtwo works. Since I have Tag Purge, the only way that he's going to be able to attack me is if he has some other Pokemon in his hand. Let's see. Just Tag Purge. Is it... Because I know down here... I live in Southern California, so Booster Pack runs me anywhere between $4 to 5 bucks for the pack by itself. And a booster box, and I can get it as cheap as maybe like $90. I just beat this guy. Let's run Mew 2 and Mew again. Later on, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put together a list or find a list that of the cards that I need, and then I'll I'll message it to you, Trang. I'll just leave a note here to remind me. See if you have any, and then we can make a deal. Wow. Yeah, that's mega overpriced. But you got to consider shipping too, I suppose. If I were to buy a box for you, yeah? If I were to buy a box for you, like Cosmic Eclipse, that's about like 90 bucks. I think it's going to run me a little... I, I could check. Yeah, I could check and see how much it would cost. I mean... Just, uh... Just right on. Yeah. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. They'll rip in- they'll probably rip into the package, huh? Let's see, what are our options here? Get out another Mewtwo, which isn't outside the realm of possibility. I think my best bet is to just pull out Latios. There we go. Go ahead, toss this into the fire. Reset stamp for fun. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just throw a Dedene. Get a new hand here. Hopefully we pull a Welder. Uh, I see. So, do you by chance know how much it would cost for me to send you out like 10 cards or so or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Cherish ball. Get out this. Go ahead and giant hearth. And then we'll finish it off with a welder. I think we can attack after this. 
Actually, probably not. Yeah. I'm pretty set up here. Let's get out our Nagada now. Control and Toto to That's not too bad. What kind of cards are you interested in? You don't mind me asking. Yeah. set up. We'll give him hit this guy pretty hard if he doesn't put out any Pokemon. I mean, there's another option that I could do is, I don't know if you ever heard of box breaks, but say, for example, I buy a Cosmic Eclipse booster box, yeah? Um, you'd, like, PayPal me, like, two bucks, $2.50. I'll open the pack live and I'll send you, you know, all the holographics and any other extra cards that you don't want. Or you do want, anyway. Oh, you want some Hidden Fates cards, some GX cards, or cards in the Shiny Vault? Yeah, I, I have some of those. I'm super down to trade you, you know, the, the digital value cards and, and the Shinies that I have, and I'll just I'll send them out. I have a bunch of random GXs and whatnot, too. That's a pretty cool Pokecom. Like here, I think I have some laid out. I'm not remembered. Yeah, f definitely follow me on Instagram because the thing about Instagram and the difference between YouTube and Instagram is I post up a lot of stuff on my Instagram that I have for sale or things that I pull and it's a lot easier to contact me there as well. Because honestly, I don't check my YouTube messages as much. You get a lot of people trying to like spam you and send you junk junk mail and stuff. Oh wow, this is going to be rough. Giratina. I'm going to have to use Nagata now to knock him out. If this Pokemon is a discard pile. Or just kill Jirachi. I need to get rid of, rid of these Inkes, actually. Yeah, but you don't have to apologize for that. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do is... We need to get a Psychic Energy. And then we're gonna go ahead and... We gotta take out an Inke. McDonald's collection. I can try and get a hold of the McDonald's collection, to be honest. I don't know how much longer they're going to be in promo. Um, but the next time... Next time I go down, I'll just... Uh, I'll pick some up. For you. I feel like that might have been a mistake, but I'm taking a risk here. Because if he evolves the Inkes to Malamars, it's going to be really, really rough. From your hand on... Yeah, it's going to become a Malamar, I think. But yeah, there, there's quite a bit. 
I I can go and uh, check check the stock up for you. Starts to get a little dicey. Why they are playing psychic deck? Okay, so you know what? the reason why this person is playing psychic is because one of the best um, energy accelerants in the game. Let me see. is uh, the Malamar card. The Malamar, as long as you have a Malamar, its ability allows you to take out an energy card from the deck and attach it anywhere you want. This is gonna, ooh, this is gonna hurt. Hold on, this is dead. I think I messed up, 260. But if, if, yeah, there you go, see? Once during your turn, That's why um, Malamar decks Reshazards Rush Rush with Welder. Yeah, Welder is one option, and another option is using Malamar for Psychic. So, any deck that allows you to accelerate energy onto a Pokemon is extremely powerful. Here, check it out. So, once during your turn, before you attack, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Yeah, so. So let's get this guy out. For him. We're gonna attach. We need a... Marshadow. So, check this out though. Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play have no abilities, so if Power Plant is out, I can't use Perfection, because that's an ability. But once that's gone, I can use it, so... Mars Shadow allows me to destroy it. Boom. And then we're going to go ahead and use... Turbo Strike. But yeah, any cards that allow you to attach multiple energies to one Pokemon are buku good. They're really, really good. Um, yeah, I had to take the hit there. The Malamar deck is really strong, to be honest. Take a welder out. Sub to all YouTubers channels. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Why the Dedenne or Jirachi? Okay, so Dedenne. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw six cards. Okay. So say I had this Dedenne in my hand, right? And I have no more cards in my hand, I only have one. If I put Dedenne on the bench, it gives me a whole new hand. So you get six new cards. That gives you the opportunity to pull out the energies that you need, the supporters that you need, the trainers, 
the Pokemon that you need that that could potentially accelerate you to win the game. Anytime you're able to go into your deck and pull out cards makes it really powerful. Yes, they're really expensive. Uh, I'm kind of losing here. It's rough. <clears throat> I needed a Jirachi GX. Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, man? Yeah. Family out in the Philippines. Yeah, eventually all the cards will rotate out. And that's what's cool about Pokemon. Is that they're constantly coming out with new cards. And, and creating new expansions to the game. So you're always... It's not always the same. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was collecting for fun too. I still do collect for fun. Obviously, I mean, judging by the, the channel. But when I started uh, learning how to play the game, it created so much value. Like just knowing, like Dedenne GX, like the card itself, it doesn't look that cool, right? It's just, Dedenne is just a little mouse, but understanding how the abilities work and how the card works in the game itself, you start to realize why that card is like 30 bucks, sometimes 20 bucks online. But in the end, I collecting, playing, they're both all really good. Really fun. I mean, Pokemon cards themselves have a... Uh, I mean, there's cool art. I mean, look at this. Like, this Mewtwo and Mew just looks awesome. Same card, just the Rainbow Rare version. See, that looks cool, too. That Pokemon fan club. Shout out to... Neando. Let's see here. Hopefully I pull the energy. <laughs> you know, it's it's just the nature of uh, of having a YouTube channel. You know, I don't mind. I do get subscribers for that reason alone. But at the end of the day, people that will that enjoy my content are going to subscribe anyway. So I'm sure maybe down the line, I don't have to give away the codes, but again, I don't really mind it because I do buy uh, packs that I open off camera. But trust me, my online like decks would be a lot stronger if I kept every code for myself. I need to get this into the discard pile. But I don't have the opportunity to. Yep, I'm gonna have to wait. It's a bummer. Like, for example, I'll buy a booster box. It has 36 packs, right? I'll open up 10 on, on camera. And the 16, I'll just open off camera just so I can have the codes. So I don't give them all away, but I do give a good portion of them. Unless I do like a special video where I just say, I'm going to open the entire box and I'll give away all the packs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I'll have so many cards. Yeah, this, the Soul Galeo needs to go in the discard pile, but I'm, I don't have a, I don't have a, a a giant hearth or a, one of my stadium cards to discard it or a Dedenne. 
Yeah. Uh, this is... This is not good. I'm just gonna reset stamp. Hopefully that disrupts this person. And uh, we're gonna go with putting this on the bench. We're gonna tag purge. Tag purge during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from attack team Pokemon. So basically this Mewtwo and Mew can't attack me on the next turn if they try to, if I use tag purge. So we pretty much get a free kill here unless he swaps him out. <clears throat> if I top deck, meaning if I pull a card right off the top of my deck and discard all these, I can knock him out with Nugget and now. Ooh, play the Viridian Forest. Ah. Uh... You and a lots of players are the reason I play expanded and theme decks. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I mean, expanded and theme decks are really fun, though. That format's really fun. It's just, I'm trying to go to the world championships. I don't know if you're familiar with that. And, you know, all my. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rogue Ring. What does that do? Oh, put them into your hand. Okay, dark energy. This is a weird Mewtwo and Mew deck that I've never seen before. It's like basically a dark box. Oh man, it's rough. There we go, just toss this. We're gonna get out this. Alright, we're gonna reset stamp again. Can I kill anything? You made touch. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna kill this Mewtwo Mew. Mew. But honestly, when I'm playing this game in standard format, half, like, I feel like over 80% of the game is just playing your cards. You know what I mean? You're just trying to get set up and then you just smash the, your, your enemy. And then you eventually win. The best players, though, however, kind of take it a next step further and they're, they're trying to figure out the strategies that their opponent's doing and... They're trying to work around it, but on the very basic level, anybody can play standard format if you just follow what your cards are meant to do. Hmm, that's cool. Mysterious treasure. thing I hate is using coins to flip something oh yeah I mean as you can tell from the this deck I don't have any cards that do that in my Pika Rom deck my Pikachu and Zekrom deck I have a stadium nav <laughs> and then then you just have bad lucks because it's supposed to be 50 uh 50 50 50 percent chance to get what you want but yeah having those type of cards in your deck um, just add variables that aren't determined by skill, if, if you understand what I'm saying. It's determined by luck. And I try to avoid those types of cards as much as possible, just because it's not, it's not strong. You want to have guarantees when you're playing card games like this. Alright, I'll take the 120. Alright, 
we're just gonna go ahead and use poke gear then out my deck some more it's exactly what i want in i think i have charizard no i don't we're going to poke gear one more time we're looking for charizard and he's right there okay Can I knock this guy out, is the question. I can tag purge and lock him up. Alright, let's hope we, we snag the Charizard here. If we do, we pretty much won. Because I'll be able to one-shot kill this guy. Alright, none here. We're going to play... Yeah, we're going to go for it. Alright, so this is the power of Dedene, Dedene alright? If... Yeah, yeah, I did it. Okay, let's see. We're gonna Zedene. And we're gonna pull Charizard right now, and we're gonna win the game. Yep. Alright, discard. Doesn't matter. Just in case something happens. Bang, Flyer Blitz. Hey, Mewtwo and Mew, baby. <laughs> but that's why Dedene is really strong. That's why they go for almost 30 bucks a card. You know what I mean? Because you can do plays like that and just, like, win the game for whatever reason. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna, you want me to use, uh, the Reshazard, Reshiram and Charizard deck? Oh yeah. I suppose so, yeah. Neo Mellow. Honestly, this, this deck I wanted to use for the tournament today, but a buddy of mine's going. And uh, he doesn't have all the cards he needs yet, so I'm going to be using Mewtwo and Mew, and he's going to be using my Reshazar deck to play. Um, I can just put that here. It's a pretty cool start. I think I messed up though. Did I win the coin toss? Uh, I guess I did, because I'm going first. It's... Honestly, I was watching some uh, some of the world championships as well online like and it's kind of hard to follow along if uh, you don't know at least a little bit about the game. It's not really a spectator sport. You know what I mean? You're just watching two guys like shuffle around cards and putting them down. The commentators do a pretty good job of keeping up and letting the viewers know what's going on, but you gotta... Ooh, I don't know, it's rough. Mm -mm. Ooh, tag call. Do you have some of these? Like, I'll need four of these. I need this card. Ar Arceus, Diago, and Palkia. That's a cool one. I need to accelerate here. It's 
it's taking a really long time for me to ramp up here. I kind of messed up. If I chose to go first, I messed up. Cool, cool. Yeah, I can send you over some like hidden fate shinies. You just gotta, um, what you can do is follow me on Instagram and then we can do, we can get, or I can get the shipping information from you, like the shipping address and whatnot and work something out. I am about to lose here. <laughs> All right, let's see. What can I do? I need Volcanion now again still. There we go. We're going to greens into... Heat factory, fire crystal, get that out. Get that. That kind of sucked still. You're fine, Shring. Yep, just uh, hit me up on Instagram, man. No big deal. Just join my uh, live stream next time I do it. I should be. I, I'm going to try and do these kind of often. Like playing this game and then you know uploading videos and whatnot but i'm gonna try and stream as much as possible so definitely see you again thanks for stopping by wow <laughs> i'm so dead <laughs> muted Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Ah, uh, this is this is my first time streaming, so no big deal. Seriously though, th thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I think this game is a wash. I kind of messed up early. Ooh. 
try that again. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. No. Mulligan. dead Oh, I goofed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I get for being distracted. Oh, man.
Fire energy, heart of the cards. Ugh. I got some hidden fate specs. Uh, you open it up online? That's some right here too. play this match anymore to be honest Yeah, it's probably really hard to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm alive. Thank goodness. Do you have one of these? Yeah, I, well, I messed up on one of my supporters. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at something on my phone and I ended up not pulling the right cards that I needed. I didn't pull any cards at all. So it kind of like, it kind of screwed me up. We're just waiting for a mixed herb. Yeah, send me your info and then uh, I'll send you one of these, dude, if you want it. No skin off my back. This one's in pretty good condition too. Like if you, I don't know, maybe if you wanted to get it graded, possibility. I have no. Am I asleep here? Can I attack? I can't do anything. Pretty sure this guy's dead. We're gonna play it out, but I don't think I'm gonna win. <laughs> yep it is and then you can send me some you can trade me some cards online you're gonna trade 25 hidden fates packs for what
I'm gonna die. I have no cards. This is like the worst situation I've ever been before in this game. Huh. Take that, buddy. Yeah, okay, well, like I said, send me your info. I'll, I'll put it in a, a plain white envelope or something. It's just, uh, I'll mail it off to you. It's a pretty nice card. Th this is actually one of my favorite cards from the set. Yeah, that was a rough game. We're going back to Mewtwo Mew after this. Watch it be all energies. Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not over yet. Maybe it's not over yet. How many? I have one Charizard left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's over, but <laughs> yeah, uh, I haven't been practicing that deck as much as I should be. You can trade it online now. I think I have cards that are if you like if you add me I think we can uh we can trade right away if you really want to do that I'll open up all the packs right now on on cam <laughs> Do a little opening All right, cool. Can I add you here? Yeah, I gotta wait until I'm out of the game and then I'll do that right away. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna... Ugh. Defeat. Cool. Is there negative ramifications for that? Because I don't do it often, but I mean, I figure there's like nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, if you got Cosmic Eclipse, I kind of want Cosmic Eclipse. <laughs> But the price is unstable. I think I've been seeing people sell them for like 40 cents a piece, 45 cents a piece. That's pretty expensive for a code. Honestly. How much have you seen them sell for? <coughs> how many how many would uh this Moltres Zapdos Articuno get me. I only want Cosmic Eclipse, I think. You have one of these? The WD promo, uh, WB promos from the movie? Pokemon the first movie. There's a whole set of them. 
There's a Dragonite, there's Pikachu, there's Mewtwo, and Electabuzz, I believe, and there's a Mew. Here goes the Electabuzz. <laughs> uh, well, you hook me up, man. I'll hook you up. Got the UB. You got the UB nine point I've been muted by a moderator. Fates for playing for per pack. How much are you doing um, Cosmic Eclipse for? I'll be right back. Wow, they're selling for almost a dollar a pack, really? Well, whatever you want, man. But yeah, I can send you I can send you that Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. <laughs> like if you if you want stuff from here, like I'm just gonna go through it real quick. I got some of those. I got some of these. Um. Like rock rough. If you need those shinies still. So let me know, man. Yeah, just go on um Toad and Troll or TCG Player.com. 
we'll look up the values and then well i'll just trade one for one man whatever you want if you want to go cheaper that'd be cool too if not i'm down to sell uh trade whatever they're worth but i think i'm going to be cutting off the stream soon i've been streaming for about an hour starting to get a little hungry um and then I want to run some errands. I got some packages that I need to ship off and all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I got the tournament at two o'clock. So and down below, you should see the, uh, you should see the information from my Instagram. You can message me here on, uh, on YouTube as well. I should be able to see your info communicate there as well. And if anybody is new that watches this, subscribe, hit the like button and whatnot. That'd be cool too. <sighs> All right, Trank. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and peace out, man. I need to get some food in me. We'll definitely keep in touch, all right? I'll see you later.